So I managed to get my hands on a key for the Modern Warfare 2 open beta on PlayStation this weekend, and we're playing on a PS5 today. We've got a couple of modes to play with, but I'm going to do some team deathmatch today. We've got some weapons to play with as well. If we have a look in our loadout here, we should be able to show you the new Gunsmith 2.0. So we can just move around with the analog stick here and choose uh, optics and stuff like that to put on and all the attachments that you usually see and receiver being a new one of those. I can change up my receiver now it looks like. So there are some really cool weapons you can create. We've also got the shock stick which is a new tactical equipment in uh, Modern Warfare 2. While we're loading into a match for video settings we haven't got much. Film grain, motion blur and depth of field which I have all turned off. And that's about it. We don't have a PS5 high definition mode or graphics setting for performance over quality or anything like that. So it's a bit bare bones with uh, graphical settings in the beta at least. We've got a new sound engine as well to listen to. Should be able to hear footsteps a little bit better and directional audio. Okay, being a little bit easier to listen out for. As we know, Warzone has been a bit hit and miss with footsteps. You either hear them or you don't hear them. It's just random. Oh my god, that zapped me and I just <laughs> held the trigger down. What? Now oh, this map does look good. Really nice global illumination. Lighting is gorgeous. Oh, another new addition is mantling onto a wall like this and aiming over with a pistol. If you don't have a pistol, you can just peek over a wall and get shot in the back. Just like that. We'll try and get a kill with that, but I don't know if we will. And of course... Sliding and slide cancelling has been toned down, so you won't see people going around like Sonic sliding and getting back up. It's really slower. It's slowed down quite a bit. But we have got dolphin diving. If we hold the slide button or crouch button, we can dolphin dive. Which was uh, brought back from Black Ops 1 and 2. Really nice to see come back. Right, with all that said, if I forgot anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's go get some kills. I'm going to place some mine down in here. Mine. Yep, there we go. We've got some strong old forearms, though. There we go. We've got a mental kill. Got another one. That's one. There's two. God, this apartment looks so nice. Hopefully the details coming across on the video. Oof. Because this looks real good. There we go. I want to get in these apartments. I love the look of these apartments. Gives me Last of Us vibes. We've lost the lead. Hear them footsteps. Ah, oh, that's so much better than Warzone. Footsteps are so inconsistent on Warzone. Look at that. I knew exactly where he was coming from. Okay, I just was curious on vehicle damage. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Audio and animations are really crispy like you'd expect from Modern Warfare Infinity Ward game. Really well made. Definitely top tier. Right, let's try out this shotgun. Oh, got shot in the back, but oh my god, that's so nice to use. I knew you was in that bus. I had way too many shots there than I needed to. But we get to hear and see that awesome reload animation. 
You know what? I'm not sure if the new audio engine, because footsteps are actually audible now and you can really tell where somebody is, people seem to be a lot slower or camping a lot. A hell of a lot more than the previous Call of Duty's. So many times I've gone around a corner and somebody's just been sat in inside a building in the corner or in an alleyway somewhere just not moving. Maybe they're worried because audio is actually working now in a Call of Duty game for a long time. Warzone is terrible for that. Definitely feels like 8 times out of 10 in Warzone, I do not hear the people coming. This one though, you can hear the steps. Enemy steps usually sound a bit different, a little bit louder than teammates, so... Running around the ground floor. Hard. To my oh. They all spawned there as I come out to kill that guy I was listening at. Ah. If that audio can become something in Warzone 2 and you can actually hear people all the time and stealth might become more of a part of a thing, sneaking around, then, I mean, it could be a good thing. I also heard that in Warzone 2, loadouts won't be a thing for Warzone. It will just be random weapons in the world, which I think also could be a good thing. There'll be no meta loadouts that people will make and laser beam you. It'll just be what you've got with the RNG in the world, and it'll be a lot more evenly matched uh, playing field, I think. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. I know a lot of people don't like the change and want their loadouts, but I think a more fair playing field is going to be better for Warzone. But we'll see. Knowing, uh, knowing Warzone and streamers big streamers they'll probably change because big streamers didn't like it or something like that there's no doubt that that's going to happen but anyway that's my quick look at the modern warfare beta i'll get it on pc as soon as i can and get you some better gameplay because i'm terrible on a controller let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you looking forward to warzone 2 or modern warfare 2 in general i'm looking forward to the campaign myself i'm looking forward to the new ai and uh, the story and the just gunplay the animations and audio in this is 10 out of 10 definitely an upgrade from previous call of duties even Modern Warfare 2019. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Hit that like button as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create. Most of all, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.